my name is Vic Haven. Welcome to the first episode of uh, Torchlight. We uh, put out a little intro, and now we're playing uh, Torchlight Frontiers. The NDA has been lifted, and uh, we'd like to get right into it. So, talked about most of the things. Uh, this is uh, early access, uh, well, or not early access, it's uh, alpha, so it's definitely could be uh, some things could come up. We've already seen uh, some. Anyway, so the Dust Mage is uh, male or female. We'll switch over here, and I think that's cool. Anyways, the Dust Mage uh, commands the power of light and dark to crush their enemies from afar. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I think, I'm not sure when they got the male and female, but we're going to be the Forged. Uh, I'm a big fan of Malay, so Malay, however you want to say it. So the Forge slices through the fray in a whirl of, whirl of steam-powered blades and chest-mounted cannons. So this is awesome. And then uh, we'll just be uh, McKazen. I'm going to probably cut kinda... Oh, yeah. And then you can also get a, a chocolate retriever, a golden retriever, a teal owl, a golden owl, a red owl, a chocolate alpaca, a golden alpaca, or a white alpaca, or a silver retriever. I think we're going to go for the uh, golden golden alpaca. Mm, no, let's go for the golden alpaca. Oh, uh, and he's going to be Tally. I don't know. Tallinator. Sure. Welcome to the world, Tallinator. Oh, you know what, actually? Um, sorry, Tally. We're going to go with Micaiah. Yeah! It's a, kind of a joke on myself, but... Anyways. Work progress 2019 Electra. Dun-dun. Dun-dun. It has been a century since the Dark Alchemist drained the Elemental Guardians of their power, using it to crack open the Clockwork Core and unleash the Netherrealm. Four great heroes ventured deep beneath our world to defeat the Netherlord and seal the Clockwork Core using the heart of the Dragon Beast Ordrain. But now, the heart surges toward the edge of destruction. Ordrak's spirit pumps through the veins of Nova Stria and infests the ember within. The power of the Netherim threatens the world once more. An ancient evil reborn. Reinvented. Now it is up to you. Face the challenges ahead and defeat the Netherrealm. Will you choose fame, fortune, or the future of the frontier? Cool. That was new. Hopefully the, uh... I'm always worried about the mic picking up the, uh, game sounds. I don't know. Not a professional YouTuber, that's for sure. You started a quest. I've started a quest! Welcome, this is the help screen. You can bring it up at any point by pressing H. Uh, you can also get help directly. Uh, so we've got keybinds, uh, Q, I, M, and Z. Uh, yep, builds up steam, or heat, I guess. Heat and uses consume. Skill points being kill gained. Um, we've got weapons. Uh, play, uh, it's pretty awesome. I love these sort of progressive, uh, things. Anyways, uh, we've got resources, uh, log oils and, log oil, logs, ore, and stone. Um, so we can run around and collect a bunch of that. And then we got a relic weapon, uh, lifeblood, oh, lifebound items. Uh, oh, they're permanently lost. Wow, that's, uh, pretty. What type of damage they deal? The fire goblin defense of this mansion type. Uh, the fort is your home in Torchlight. You can uh, use materials to collect the world to build, upgrade, and customize your fort to your liking. This is where you return to purchase new skills from your class, craft items, and prepare yourself for another round of adventure. This feature is currently in an alpha state. Nice. Oh, well, that's different. Uh, before we started in a town, now we're on a boat. I'm on a boat. Yeah, so uh, 
I don't know. I guess I should. Uh, well, I'm a developer, so talk about this could be a, just a this kind of a point and click. You can sort of think of this in Unity as a um, nav mesh, and then they have nav mesh characters. And oh, cool. Hey, buddy. Kind of wish there was some way to say, hey, you know, there's so much junk in these games that it's hard to say, you know, what you can actually destroy. Oh yeah. Fresh off the boat and itching for scrap, huh? Well, yeah, they're looking for the right place. These pirates are overrunning the Alpus. The gobs. Heads up and clear them out. Yes, sir. I'll be going. Right on, sir. Oh. <laughs> what? Hey, come on. What happened? Forged heat. Uh, most forged combat skills build up heat. If you overheat, you will not be able to use these skills. Once enough heat is built up, using a vent skill will expand heat. Your vent skills deal bonus damage per heat threshold reached at the time of the release, as indicated on your heat charge meter to the right of the skill bar. Yeehaw. Definitely uh, quite a bit different, uh, so it's not, uh, unfortunately, not a first look because I've definitely played this a little bit. Um, but yeah, so got these uh, goblins. Oh, that, um, that means I want to check out here, I think. Oh! New! Boots! Oh, okay, this must uh, lead directly into the main fort. Yep, which is under attack. Oh, that's a kind of nice feedback. I'm not sure what the, uh, oh, it could be the, um, the, um, what are you waiting for? You gonna claim this fort or what? No, it's not my fort. I don't care about your fort. I care about my fort. Oh, I'm poor and I need the money. Okay, okay, I'll help your fort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the uh, NPC's fort. Uh, Yupper Goblin Raider. Oh boy. Yapper. Yipper yapper. <laughs> it's Mick Haven. Yap fest. Oh boy, is that you? Oh boy. No, are you? Oh, your buddies are just shooting at me. Yeah, so the uh, forge is kind of like a mechanical beast, sort of melee. I, I don't know. I, I like that a lot better. Yeah, this. Uh, I mean, you know, one thing about the uh, UI is just very, very um, nice. Um, there's a lot of little things on the thing, like, um, but yeah. Oh, what do we got here? Green gear. Oh, got to stop. Put it on. Wow. Nice. Oh, that is not very nice. <laughs> Same thing happened in the alpha. It was like, oh, man, my first epic. And it was like, what? For the dust mage? You piece of random loot. Hey, nope. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you know, it calls this guy to like a, a melee, but it's like with a machine gun. I'm like, not sure you could call that a melee, but you know, okay. Um, no, what do I do? Hey, you s thanks for swamping up those goblins. They're getting bolder. That was their third raid today. You must be here for the Frontiers program. Well, we're serious about supporting you hero types. You make a home out here in the Frontier, and we'll be here for supplies and information. I've got a portal s scroll somewhere here for you. Ah, uh, yes, this will take you to your own fort, Sergeant Cleave should already be there. He'll introduce you to your fort, but then you come see me if you ain't, if you want some work. Oh, hey, welcome to... Wow, that was quick. That is much better. 
took um, I don't know a couple three four hours. I got I kind of got bored by the time I got to my fork. Well, I mean not bored, but it was like I was. I've started a quest. Definitely, um, I feel like they need to, um, wow, this feels completely different. It was, oh, I guess this is my fort. Yeah, anyway, so we'll just shared stash. Excellent. Uh, so one of the, you know, one of the things I was talking about, uh, I, I see it's still sort of here. I'd probably make it into live because it probably don't really, think, but the uh, game sort of starts while the, it's loading, which is pretty common. And then, you know, you, it's sort of, it should wait until you're fully loaded. You know, you can sort of hear monsters and all sorts of things happen in the background. Anyways, we have a quest over here. Ah, great! Our mighty hero arrives! Here's your fort, such as it is, as per our agreement, according to the Frontier's Accord. The fort is, dues, is yours to do with you as you choose. You want to take my advice, though. You'll need a skill station to focus on improving your skills. You need to keep improving yourself to survive on the Frontiers. Uh, select gold and skill points to build a skill station. Press F to switch to fort edit mode. And then B to build, select the adventure shop from the skill station category, oh, automation shop, and then place it on the ground. Yeah, so that was uh, one of the big problems was the, um, the, um, you couldn't do anything. Uh, what do you want me to build? Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Oh, skill stations. Oh man, it's gonna cost nothing. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, that's cool. You can move with your. Like, can I always? Huh, you can move with your keyboard. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so now we have coal launch. Launch uh, hot coals from your furnace that land and set the ground on fire. Deals 100% weapon damage. Um, let's see, duration 6 seconds. Requires 50 SP. Automation shop 1. Uh, cyclone mode. Spin your way through foes, dealing 5% error damage per second. 50 SP and rapid strike. Strike enemies in front of you with multiple rapid strike for... Uh, well, 25%, 25% weapon damage. Man, a percent, percent weapon damage! Uh, do I have any skill points? Uh, level 1. Oh yeah, plus of, yes, 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 please. Oh no, I need 22,000 gold! Um. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? We got uh, body block, uh, passive block chance increased by 5%. Uh, rapid fire now does 10% more weapon damage. Uh, uh, passive 8% to all damage. Oh. Oh, I think we skill points. I'm not sure how many we have. We have 40 gold. Uh, so anyways, 8% uh, all damage and then passive. You now passively vent heat 50% faster. And then we've got uh, two level. Um. Oh, hey, there's a much bigger thing. Frontier Traders. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, no. Cancel. I'm sure it will be fine. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh. Um, -dum -dum -dum. Master your metal. Muster your metal. Well, um, let's unlock a passive here. Mm, you know we should do the active cyclone mode. Yeah. Let's do a passive. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, fine. You've mastered a skill. 
Yes, I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, buddy. What do you got for me? I hope you got something useful. Probably not. And after this, you're on your own. Keep honing your skills. We won't be able to help you defeat... Oh, you won't be able to help us defeat the Neth Nethrium if you're dead. Uh, make sure you actually use the skills you've learned and you just might make it. Excellent. Uh, skills being assigned, blah, blah, blah. Assigns the access skills appear in your skill bar. Sweet. Um, yeah. Oh. So this seems, seems, seems like there's a lot more active stuff with the forts. They've um, added quite a bit. Um, hey, yep, now you can actually um, you can still leave. Is there a map? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's uh, quite a bit different. Anyways, uh, this, this doesn't seem to be anything around. I should probably just give it a once-over since we're here. Whew. Just seems like a pretty, you know, just a pretty cool area. Looking at the fog, going, huh, you know, I need that for my game. <laughs> You can see sort of it's um, kind of a platform area with rocks, and then you, they've got, you know, and the camera sort of obscures, but there's probably rocks around back there, um, around all sides, and they've got a lot of um, vegetation and stuff like that, which is kind of, I'm not a big fan of, but, you know, it makes it look somewhat cool, I guess. You know, it's just, partly it's just this kind of, you know, it just makes it harder to walk around. Uh, there is actually just a wee bit more, like, just on the other side. Yeah, oh, interesting. It's a nice, um, nice effect there. Anyway, so I think there is a way to go back. Yeah. Anyways, um, Osseum's Fort? There we go. Oh boy. This is uh, definitely new. Your portal. Thanks for your help. Why, thank you. You have a new quest. A new quest? What was this Come back? On. Hi, hero, you are a big help defeating the defending defeating defeating the outpost from the goblins. We took the he head hand raider captive and it turns out he can actually talk. In fact, now that he's recovering, he's it's tough to get him to shut up. He seems pretty eager to sell out the rest of his kind. If you're ready to make some coin, then make sure you're jammed up for a fight. Geared. These goblins pay with fire, so we'll need some fire resistant armor. Here, you're got you're gonna need this potion too. Go get everything on the list of gear, and then meet me outside the Den of Upheaval. Nice. Um, yeah, so there's um, now a town here. Alpha Junior Explorers Alpha Cadet. Cadet. Hey, uh, Frontierlander. Frontierlandsman, sir. As one of our first arrivals here on the frontier, I've been given special permission to grant you a welcome package. You know, to say thanks for everything you do. It's not, it's got, it's got, it's got great stuff for your fort. You should really get, uh, oh no, not these. They're just floor models. Head straight to your fort. They're already there. You just have to pick one in a good spot. Great. Didn't I already, um, anyway, so then there's strange people. Like a scroll merchant you can't talk to. Seems pretty standard. Uh, anyway, so it's kind of, uh, now that's sort of town, they've got guards, uh, everything, this is sort of what you had before. I don't remember if there was a uh, attack, but, then, yeah. I think over here? Yeah. I think you're just supposed to buy all that, and then, I'm not sure why, because... Could make 
make it just a tad better. <laughs> oh, I guess that's for someone else. Mm -hmm. It's big, big, big. Head towards the guarded gauge by left and follow the path beyond the two banners to get to Woods Edge. Don't you mean to the right? Oh boy. Yes, yeah, so over here is the guard gate, I'm assuming. Oh, and... Oh, here we go. Well, well, it's sad about the... Yeah, this is how you... You know, so this is to the right, people! No, you're left from the right. Um... Brum, bum, bum. Yeah, so... What are you doing? <laughs> so now the real game can begin. You started a quest. You started a quest. I think that's a well. Here, let me um go back to the Imperial Outpost. Not really. There we go. Anyways, we're going to put a cut in here. It uh, seems like a good point, uh, which is probably, I don't know, it's probably random how we put the cuts in here, but I want to check a few things out and uh, see if everything's great. So you take care. Thanks for checking out uh, Torchlight Frontiers with McCabe or Hossian or Micaiah, whoever you want to call myself. You take care.